This is our infirmary, the females area. Itong mga lolas nagkauno. This is Lola Rosita, Dalaga, Lola Telma, Single Mom, oh. Lola Sario, na siya ay duha ka anak pero walay nag take care. Hi Lola Lourdes, she's a teacher. Lola Lilia, Dalaga. Built in 1925, Hospicio de San Jose de Barili is the first home for the aged here in Cebu. The vast lands where the complex houses and gardens now stand were donated by the philanthropist Don Pedro Cui and his sister Benigna Cui. Both Don Pedro and Benigna were not married. Don Pedro was the youngest and uh, both of them are very religious. They attend masses in Santo Nino because they were staying in Parian. Now, when they were already old, they always see uh, elderly dancing and then baking in Santo Nino. So every Friday, they will bring a, a box of coins and distribute it to the elderly. And they were thinking they were, they were already old and they have a lot of money and properties. They created this Hospicio de San Jose de Barile. We do accept elderly, male, female, 60 and above in age, as long as uh, no communicable diseases, uh, ambulatory, meaning they can walk. Uh, the poorest of the poor, no one can take care of them. We provide food, medicine, clothing, everything. Pasensya jud ang gikuan diri mamurag mo jud ang amo ang one of the kinahanglan jud diri ba ka taas kag pasensya kay kung di ka taas og pasensya makakuan siguro kas mga tiguwa kung magbuyag <laughs> Hello lolo Hello How are you Fine How's your day Kumusta imong adlaw May mo mo Nikaon na ka Oh tapos na Tapos na Okay so how's your experience here lo diri sa hospital Ay mo mo May mga kemta na mga ni. Free mito na nini, wa may kuan. Pagkao na ay kusinero, labandira. Panlaban ay labandira. Na ay tambas, doktor. Na ay muatima na mo. Huwag yung may, nga mo, katlog rin yun, katlog rin yun. Huwag ka ng padulot pagkaon. Huwag yun yung trabaho, ma'am. Maligo ka na buntag. Yung naman diri yun, huwag na yun kay disenyo. Mapayaw diri. The beneficiaries cannot go out easily because they, the compound is fenced and we have a guard, security guard. And they cannot go out unless a family member will ask for a pass. We let them sign a waiver that whatever happens outside of Hospicio, it's not our concern anymore. Miss Jackie, the assistant house parent here in Hospicio de San Jose de Barili. Thank you so much for having us today, Miss Jackie. So she will be um, touring us here in the entire vicinity. Let's go. This is our female wards, no? 
So, diri sila nagstay, upat sila ka, buok diri, na ward. Oh, so, Lola, Betty, Lirio, single. Lola, Becca, too, single. No, mga dalagang ulay. Also, Lola Victory Manso. Lola Victory Manso. Dalaga. Lola Esther. She's a nun. Yeah, she's a nun. Lola Esther Luxin. She's a single. Shy. Shy kay si Lola. This is our infirmary. The female. Area. Atong mga lolas nagkauno di lunch time. This is Lola Rosita, Dalaga, Lola Telma, single mom, Lola Sario, na siya duha ka anak pero walay nag take care. Hi Lola Lourdes, she's a teacher. Pero ang iyang anak na matay sa, no, gipatay sa iyang bana. Yes, so that's why she's here. guest house of the Kui family so let's try to find out how it looks like inside no rent renovations or anything guys Another awesome fact about this place is that all the furnitures that you find here were still furnitures from 1925. Currently hanging out here at the visitors area and in this area you can see lots of stuff like from information to artifacts to pictures of the Kui legacy. So first up is we have here the painting. This painting was actually a painting of the actual house of Don Pedro Kui in Parian. And this is something that you don't see now. It's one of um, the hidden gems of history that we guys didn't know. They also have here a couple of um, awards, certificates, support for Britons in the Philippines Partnership Event with shelters and charity organizations. They also have um, award from the province of Cebu during the 431st founding anniversary. And many more to mention. Also, portraits of um, Doña Benigna Cui and Don Pedro Cui. And then over here, they have this um, huge space which shows the Cui legacy from the family tree down to the introduction, the story of Don Pedro Cui starting this institution, the Cuis in Parian, so that is their logo. 
And then over here, the story of Hospicio de San Jose de Barili, the people involved, people from our Philippine and Cebuano history that were part of this too. And then up there are portraits of um, the different generations of administrators here in Hospicio San Jose de Barili. Some people say that it is a government entity. No. Because we do not donate the hospice to the government. We submitted for approval the opening of hospice and it was approved by the government. This is the bone of Don Pedro Cui and Dunya Binigna Cui. Don Pedro Cui, born in February 22, 1845 and died June 14, 1926 and Doña Benigna born February 13, 1840 and died March 22, 1929. Maabot man siya ng tayo, Ms. Jackie, no, nga people pass away. Yes. So, if inana siya, what are your plans sa mga elderly nga inana? Like, what if either walay mo ka ng claim nila here? Pagsud sa tigulang, i-orient naman na namo na ay relatives or social workers na muatod nila na what if kung sa'y mahita po sa tigulang, ang, ang hospisyo dili mo in Balsamar, mm -hmm. within 24 hours, amo yun na siyang ilubong. Yeah. So, before mahita bu na sa atong lolo o lula, kay usahay na anaman at sila ikuan nga dinaganhan mo kaon, magluya na, niya magsige na his good nga sa ilahang mga pamilya, sa ilang mga relatives. So, amo nang tawagan, magpahibaw mi nga, Si Lolo, si Lula, nagluya. Mm -hmm. So, pwede inyong bisitahon kay base na siya ay tuyo ninyo. Pero sometimes, naadyo uban nga wala ra, dili ra mo, dili ra mo pansin. So, maabot ang time nga mawala jud si Lula or Lolo. So, that's why amo na lang silang ilubong. Pero, napoy uban nga namatay na ang tigulang, ilarang ipakuha, at to nila i-wake ba dito sa ilaha? Pero seldom ra kaayo, mostly jod, kami joy mulubong na diri. Kaya maingon man na, ay ilubong na lang na ninyo diha ma, kaya ka nang wala, ka nang di ni kalugar. O, oh, di no sila kalugar. Kasad, dana kami na. O, oh, so, wala tayo mahimo. At least, amo silang ipahibalo kung sa'y nahitabo sa tigulang. Yeah. Mm -mm. Sakit, no? Mugat kayo sa buod life. So guys, visit, visit, guys. Visit, visit. Yeah. Well, we still have time to visit. Ah, kung dugha na to. Wala <laughs> naman ko iksuon ko dito sa Cebu. Ang doha na ko ka-elder. Nga, upat kami magsuon, ang lalaki na matay naman. Ako na lang yung hibiling dali. So ako yung disisyon nga dali na lang yung gusto sa hospisyo. Ngayon pa, ang akong disisyon, ano yung napong kupalubong? Nahi panahon nga, mingaw kay mam, mingaw nga kay kapilyado gutagot natin yung mga anak. We also hired a social worker so that they can guide them and uh, do something for a uh, beneficiary that, uh, that will make them active. But we encourage them to do gardening. It is very fulfilling to uh, deal with elderly every day, which, which is among more than just among routine. There is a special every morning to provide me of activities such as music therapy before me mag start sa among recreational activities while ang mga nursing aides ang mga nurses kay maghatag sila og meds and vitamins sa mga beneficiaries so kami nga social workers kay kami ang na-assign nga mo provide sa activities every day for the beneficiaries aside from that kay mag 
concert me ward rounds and infirmary rounds during afternoon. Mga medicine din yun na isalig sa amo. Sila yun mga tagang nurses. Mga mga nurse aid. Ako, bisa wala ko itambal yung maintain. Mga vitamins ra. Di yun ko saligan. Sina dyan mga tagang. Sa time nga mo take me. So, tinagad yun me. As a social worker, so, amo yung kuan main to na mo is ang mga tigawang kung sa mo mahatang nila ng mga activities coping nila kay para dili sila mamingawan mga coloring mga word search para ilang utok mga exercise silang mga utok some civic organization uh, will write to us that uh, they were good uh, then they, they will entertain the elderly they will bring something mga food and that will get because you know, the old people are very happy if you give something to them. <laughs> but we do not accept money. Until now, we are running smoothly and uh, we'll manage We have a scholarship. Mm. It's fully paid by Hospicio, boarding house, um, uh, school supplies, everything is paid by Hospicio. We have many doctors now. We have a pharmacist. We have a social worker. We do it only one at a time. So after the, the, the scholar graduates, we get another one. Scholar ko sa Hospicio di San Jose de Barili, then full tuition, free apartment from allowance, bisag piso wala ko gasto kay ni provide ang Hospicio di San Jose de Barili. So karon last September 1921 20, ni take og board exam. So gikaluyan sa Ginoo nakapasar ko so automatic nga absorb ko sa Hospicio kay I have the contract nga after after na ko nga mo graduate, mo ani ko dire sa Hospicio mo serbisyo ko with pay. Five years, six years ago, we had a doctor of medicine. We are always planning for improvements, but we cannot tell yet what the improvements are, but we are working on improvements. We are you know, accepting elderly, male, female, 60 and above. If you want to apply, it would be much better if you approach your local barangay D the SWD and let them know that you want to apply for Hospicio and they will work it out and they will uh, make a case study. Uh, once this case study is uh, uh, okay, they, so they come to us and ask for the requirements. So if you pass the requirements, then you're okay. This two-hectare property in Barangay Gibuangan has given pride to Barili as it represents several decades of service and love for the less fortunate elderly. Thank you, Kaay Aloha, for Salamat. having us oh. here. Thank you for answering our questions. Salamat. Thank you. Mubalik niya, Midere Aloha. Niya magdua tag bingolo. Okay. Thank you so much for hanging out with us here. Once again, this is Aki from Paradise, Philippines. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the notification bell button for the updates and the latest, latest videos from our channel. And of course, follow us on our social media accounts in Facebook and in Instagram. Once again, this is Aki from Paradise, Philippines, and I'll see you on the next video.